honestly, this is probably one of the best church website templates on the internet right now. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Tremaine, and today I'm going to be walking you through this cool church website template. So if you own a church or you're a part of a church or you're working with a church in any type of way, right, this is probably um, one of the best templates out there because it's, it's well put together, right? It's not just one page. It's, you know, a few pages um, with this template that you're going to get if you decide to get this template. So, um, yeah, I just want to walk you through how the website template actually looks like, right? So as you can see, um, this is the, you know, the bird's eye view of the website template. Um, I got, you know, Faith Church, you know, if you guys, your church probably isn't named Faith, right? So, you know, you can easily change this, uh, this copy right here, um, change the button copy or whatever you wanna do, right? Um, the key activities, as you can see, there's a, a little bit of some um, animation right there. Uh, yeah, for the community prayer, uh, devotional reflection, right? If you guys want to change any of this, it's super easy, right? Now, this is just a bird's eye view. Now, if we go into the builder, right, you will see everything, right? So if you want to change any of this copy, right, you just double click, you know, change it to, you know, whatever you want to change it to, right? So we're going to keep it, you know, faith right now, right? Because, you know, this is just a template, right? You guys can change it if you want. Right in the buttons, you know, you click the button, go to edit, and you know, change that up as well. Um, and you got a video right here. Right now, if your church doesn't have a video of, you know, what you guys do or anything that's, you know, that could, you know, give the viewer um, something to look at when it comes to your church, right? You put a video right here. Um, you know, a lot of folks use YouTube for videos, so you just put the the video link right here and it'll just populate right here, right? So, you know, that's one thing, but let's just say you don't have video and you wanna put a picture, right? You just go to image and you drag it over here and then you click here and then you go to upload a file and there you go, you put your image right there, right? So that's how you can put that, I mean, that's how you can add images to your website and video, right? And then we have you know, a lot of the copy is already done. Uh, if you don't like this copy, you know, you can easily change it however you want. Um, you know, a lot of churches already have like an about us. Um, so you could just add that here, right? Just copy and paste it, whether it's in a, a Google Doc or something like that. You just copy and paste it in here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, we got some, you know, key activities, right? If you guys have more, you know, you can put more right now. I have this block hidden, right? But you know, you can unhide it and you know, put whatever you want in this section, right? So we have that, and then we have some more copy right here. You guys could, you know, switch that up. We got testimonials. You know, if you guys wanna add some testimonials, you know, just copy and paste, right? Um, pictures, you know, edit image. So you can add images, right? So you can delete these and, you know, put whatever images you guys want. For your church right so that's pretty much the you know the first page now if you guys notice you have callers you got phone you got it in these like parentheses right i'm probably um i don't know if those are parentheses but you know we have them in between here but for your website we have personalization right so whenever you use this type of um what do you call it tag whenever you use this type of tag right, this will populate it, right? So for phone, for instance, this is the phone number, you guys could change it to your number, right? The location, you change it to your location, right? And as you can see it right here, you know, it looks like this, but if you go to the real, you know, website, you know, it already populates, right? So that's another thing, right? And as you can see right here, it populates. You know what I mean? And then email, it works the same exact way, right? So that's, you know, that's pretty much it for the first page. Um, like I said, we got copy. You guys could change that if you want. Now, if you go to donate now, it's going to go to the donate page, right? So this donut, not donut, this donate page, donation page is already put together, right? So you guys really don't have to do much, right? 
um, as far as the copy, right? You could change the wording a little bit if you want, but it's pretty much put together, right? Now, as far as like the donations, right? Uh, a donor could put, you know, their name, put their email, and then put how much money they want to donate, right? And then they, you know, I'm not a robot, then they click make a donation, right? You're gonna get a donation, right? Now, I recommend using Stripe. Stripe is super easy to put together. Stripe is um, a, a aggregator, right? So you're able to get money, you know, from, um, you know, people that's donating money to the church. You're able to get money that's gonna go to your Stripe account and then you can send it, you know, to your church bank account, right, from Stripe, right? Now, as far as like the fees for Stripe, uh, Stripe does have fees just like, you know, any other company, but since you're a church, um, you're gonna be entitled to some discounts, right? So these are the instructions you'll wanna, you know, keep in mind when you're setting all this stuff up with Stripe. Um, and you send all this information to Stripe and you're able to get your discount, right? Which is the 5013C, um, you know, information, 501C3 information, and you know, you're good to go, right? I'm not sure how much of a discount, but you know, I definitely believe you guys should, you know, at least put that in, right? To get a discount for the church, right? So that's pretty much it for the, the donation page. Um, put the money, all that cool stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go to the other page, right? We got home, which is where we're at. Then we have donate, then we have location, right? So this is the location page. Now this is a cool feature that I added um, that you guys could kind of customize this location, um, this Google Maps feature. Right now, when people go to the website, you know, they're gonna see the map, you know, you're gonna put your address. I'm gonna show you in the builder. Oh, <laughs> we're in the builder, right? So you'll put your address right here and then they give like a, you know, a view, a certain type of view of it, right? And then they click this button and then it will go to Google Maps and then they'll put in their um, location and, you know, it'll get them directions, right? But this right here, this feature is cool because I'm just gonna go to it on a regular page. You can put, um, you can put a location in here and it's gonna go to Google Maps with it already populated, right? So uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna address here. Uh, as you can see, this is already populated, right? Has the zip code and everything, right? So if someone is trying to, you know, get directions to your church, you know, they'll just have to put this information in and it'll automatically, you know, give them directions, which is a super cool feature. Now, when you get this website template, you want to change the the destination on here, right? So destination. Okay, hold on. Now, this is the destination right here, right? So you wanna change that to whatever your church's location is, right? So when you get this, all of this stuff would already come with the template. Only thing you would have to do is put in your address right here on where the church is located, right? And then when they fill this information out, it's gonna automatically go to the Google Maps, right? Now, I know you're probably looking at this, it looks a little weird, but this is how it looks um, in the builder. But when you go to the um, the website, it's gonna look like this, right? Side by side, right? So, you know, that's a cool feature, you know, on the locations page. Um, and then we have events, right? So events, you know, you guys could put whatever you want for the events. I'm not sure, you know, what you guys have, you know, all churches have their different events. Now, I wanted you guys to check out the pictures, right? The pictures are super generic, right? They don't go with the church. But if you go to Pexels um, and just put in uh, um, church building or praying, or if you have, you know, in this section right here, you will want to have, you know, pictures of your church, right? Um, 
I'm pretty sure you guys have some pictures. So I would highly recommend you guys do that, you know, as far as like the pictures and, you know, put them in here, right? Um, and yeah, and I told you guys how to do the picture thing. I'm gonna go back to the events page and show you again, but you just click the picture, go to image, you know, click that upload file and, you know, put your image in there, right? So that's pretty much how you would put that. And then we're gonna go to, um, I'm gonna delete these buttons. Right. All right, delete these buttons. All right, if you guys like these buttons, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I'm gonna delete these buttons. Um, yeah, just so they know. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much, you know, the events page. Um, but yeah, like I said, I would highly recommend you guys use your own images, but Pexels, they have their own images in here, but you know, a lot of these pictures probably won't you know, um, apply to you specifically, you know, some of these pictures, maybe you can have someone praying. Right. I mean, that may be, you know, that may work for your church. This one, this one, you know what I mean? Um, or however, I don't even know, you know, what the events <laughs> are going to be. Right. So you just put whatever you want in Pexels and Pexels is just one uh, one company, uh, if you scroll down, you got ice stock right here, um, which is super, um, super popular as well. But like I said, this is pretty much the events page. Um, I think that's it, right? And another cool thing with the donations, I'm going to go to the donate page, with the donations, this website builder has email automations, right? So Whenever someone, um, you know, makes a donation or do anything with this, right, you can set up an automation and send them an email, right, um, with some information that they may need as far as like, um, you know, your um, your church information, uh, like the 501 um, 3C, I think I'm saying that right, <laughs> C3. Um, yeah, you may can send them information on that because I believe, you know, when you're doing donations, people want to have that for tax purposes, you know, just information about, you know, the church and things like that. So that's a cool thing that this website builder has, um, has like email automations and cool things like that. You know, if you wanted to send, you know, your, the people that's donating money to the church, if you wanted to send them some things. So that's another cool thing with this, uh, with this website builder. So this is pretty much it for the website builder. You know, you guys could definitely add more pages. If you go to pages, um, and go to add new, you know, add new pages and all that cool stuff, you can definitely do that. Um, and I also have a, one more page, get in touch actually, as I'm talking. I'm gonna go to the get in touch page. Right, now, this is the get in touch page. Um, and with this form right here, right, whatever they have in here, and then you, um, then they click the contact us right it's going to you're able to set this up to to where it notifies your email right so you can put whatever email you want in here and it's going to notify you right and whatever you know whatever they say right so that's another cool feature um with this website builder and that's it right i know i said this is it you know plenty of times but this is pretty much it for the website builder um i hope you guys like this website template um you know, I, I wish you guys luck with your church. Um, and yeah, right. If you guys want this website template, all you got to do is go in the description um, and grab it yourselves. Right. My name is Tremaine. I appreciate you guys for checking out this video. Thank you.